I haven't been to Oscar's house per se, but I do have friends that live in the same golf estate, which is in Pretoria. A very secure golf estate called Silver Lakes, where you know safety is uh, is the way of living for a lot of the people there. And you'll find a lot of sporting celebrities, including the likes of one of South Africa's great rugby players, Victor Matfield, that actually live there as well. Very secure environment, beautiful for the kids to run around, and just a great, great population of people that just enjoy life and the secure living of a golf estate. Right, and... and I imagine many people in South Africa are shocked by this. It's not the first time something like this has happened, though, is it? John, sadly not. And, you know, to waking up to this news in South Africa, there's just absolute disbelief and, you know, the tragedy like this, you know, when you think about, you know, it's certainly one of South Africa's greatest sporting stars, but then a family that's lost a daughter and a sister... You know, how does one explain this? It, it really is a real, real tragedy. And not too long ago, a few years back, we had a very a similar tragedy when one of South Africa's great rugby players by the name of Rudy Fasaki uh, thought it was an intruder breaking into, I think, into the cars and stuff and, you know, shot out and it, it killed his daughter, which is something that you, you know, how, do you, how does a father ever live with that? It's just one of the... And today is just one of those same tragedies that has had, it's got South Africa just in total disbelief and in shock and horror at the same time. What's likely to happen over the next couple of hours? How will this play out? Uh, you know, at the moment, uh, from what I can gather, the police are investigating. You know, they've obviously closed off the scene. As, as far as I can gather, Oscar Pastorius is being held, obviously, on a murder charge. Um, some, you know, the girlfriend has passed away from the shooting. There's still, I believe, a 9 millimeter pistol was recovered from the scene. Um, and apparently that the, girl, the girlfriend was shot four times. And that, that, those are the questions that, you know, makes... You know, right now I'm sitting here with... Uh, you know, I've, I've gone cold and almost numb this morning. I haven't been able to do anything and you think about why would someone shoot someone four times you know would she not have shouted out after the first shot so many questions that need to be asked around this whole event and so you know everyone is praying that it was just an accident but at the same time so many questions still need to be answered and why does Oscar even have a gun at that stage living in such a safe safe golf estate um, right now it's just too many questions that need to be answered uh, are many people in South Africa armed? Would there, many people have a gun, like a 9 millimeter gun in their home like this? Well, John, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a question that unfortunately I've never understood the gun laws in this country. Uh, um, uh, a lot of people feel insecure. I'm living in South Africa in the last, you know, I lived in Atlanta for seven years, been back in South Africa for 12 years, and, you know, I found the, the massive difference. You're living, you often do live in fear in South Africa. There's crime is out of control despite what the government may be telling you that the numbers are down we live in fear um so why someone would carry a gun a celebrity i, I would assume a lot of people celebrities do carry guns um at the end of the day i, I just don't know and i just it's a, it's a tragedy and as i said so many questions and you know the fact oscar has been there have been some threats um he got involved in an altercation not too long ago of his girlfriend so whether or not he's just recently purchased the gun i'm not too sure uh, as I say, it's just, it's too hard to believe.